Awareness of senior high school learners in sex education in relation to teenage pregnancy. Introduction. Teenage pregnancy, or also called as adolescent pregnancy, is when a woman under 20 years old gets pregnant. It usually refers to teens between the ages of 15 to 19. There are, however, girls as young as 10 who are sexually active and occasionally become pregnant and give birth according to World Health Organization. The United Nations Children Fund UNICEF classified teenage pregnancies as a global problem that creates issues for all those concerned about young women and their children's health and well-being, but most often occur in poorer and marginalized communities. Sex education involves teaching young people how to talk about and make decisions about sex and their sexual health as well as providing information about body development, sex, sexuality, and relationships. DeWitt 2015 specified that a fundamental human right of young people is access to accurate and comprehensive sex education, which includes knowledge about contraception and condoms. Young people benefit from this knowledge by having low risks of undesirable consequences like unintended pregnancies and sexually transmitted infections stis. Teen pregnancy is a widespread occurrence with well-established causes and negative effects on a person's health, society, and economy. The adolescent birth rate has declined globally, but at varying rates in various regions. Significant differences in levels exist both between and within nations. Pregnancy among teenagers is more common among people with less education or lower socioeconomic level. Additionally, among these and other vulnerable populations, there is lower success in lowering adolescent first births, which results in increasing inequity. Since adolescent pregnancy is one of the most prevalent issues affecting teenagers around the world, there are still many issues connected to this problem such as most of teenagers is not yet prepared to have children. Thus, teenage pregnancies can have a negative impact on many teens' quality of life. Teenage pregnancies have increased due to a number of factors, including the earlier onset of maturity, more premarital sex occasions, and most relevantly lack of sex education. The rates of teenage births have fallen dramatically in several developed countries since around 2007. 1. Potential explanation is that public policy interventions in the areas of sex education and related sexual health services have played a substantial effect. An alternative possibility is that reductions in teen pregnancy are the result of some other more widespread social phenomenon including sexual advice and information from experts that has possibly unintentionally influenced young people's sexual behavior. Sex and relationship education may have an impact on teenage pregnancy rates through several different mechanisms. According to Odinger 2013, a teenager's expected utility from engaging in sexual activity depends on their beliefs and knowledge about the consequences of sex such as enjoyment pregnancy, and other outcomes as well as their perception about the likelihood of those consequences occurring. Sex and relationship education may affect behavior and, consequently, outcomes like teenage pregnancy to the extent that it properly informs adolescents about sexual activity, contraception, and pregnancy. Frangic 2018 discussed that adolescents face barriers to access contraception including restrictive laws and policies regarding provision of contraceptive based on age or marital status, health worker bias and or lack of willingness to acknowledge adolescents' sexual health needs and adolescents' own inability to access contraceptives because of knowledge, transportation, and financial constraints leading to multiple cases of teenage and wanted pregnancies. According to the Commission on Population and Development Popcom, the Philippines has recorded a 7% increase in births among girls aged 15 and below in 2019. With regards to that, early pregnancy is one of the pressing issues Filipino youths are facing today. The country has one of the highest teenage pregnancy rates among the ASEAN member states due to the constant increase in cases every year. The Philippines has recorded a total of 180,916 live births among adolescents aged 10 to 19 in 2019. According to the data from the Civil Registration and Vital Statistics System of the Philippine Statistics Authority and is equivalent to 495 live births per day in the 10 to 19 age group, 
opening parenthesis pna.gov. The statistic shows that safe sex must be implemented to lessen the cases of early pregnancy and not put pressure on their financial needs. And further shows that the absence of sex education in the curriculum of countries are found to be more prone to these phenomena. Among the regions of the Philippines, Central Luzon ranks second in having the most cases of teenage pregnancy, contributing 11.90% or 18,722 out of the 157,060 teenage pregnancy cases in the country according to Sunstar. Additionally, according to empirical data, the interaction of ICT, poverty, lack of access to reproductive health services and information, ineffective parental guidance, harmful peer pressure, and early participation in risky sexual and non-sexual behaviors are among the major contributors to the prevalence of teenage pregnancy in the area. Although, according to the most recent Civil Registry and Vital Statistics CRVS 2020 from the Philippine Statistics Authority, which revealed a fall of 10.74% from the last statistics in 2019, there has been a noticeable decline in the number of births among adolescent mothers in central Luzon. However, the number may decline, but the numbers are still alarming considering it is only one area in the Philippines. The researcher observed that the learners have relevant knowledge on teenage pregnancy, but are lacking or inadequate when it comes to awareness and proper sex education, including practices and the use of different contraceptives. Though teenage pregnancy and sex education is a sensitive topic to discuss, with the increasing cases of pregnancies among teenagers, learners need to widen their knowledge about different information to prevent unwanted pregnancy. The study is conducted in Crystal Ray High School, formerly known as O'Donnell Resettlement High School, located in Barangay Crystal Ray, Capas, Tarlac. It offers a senior high school program including academic and technical vocational tracks. Learners in this school have different identity, religion, life perspective, culture, and traditions. With the above-mentioned topic, the main objective of the researchers is to determine the awareness of senior high school learners to teenage pregnancy and sex education. The purpose of this study is to elicit the baseline information and knowledge of learners on teenage pregnancy and sex education and to give a background on their current sexual knowledge and behaviors.